Hello everyone and welcome to Smallland. Now Smallland has just been released in early access and it's a new survival RPG style game that I've been playing for a few days and it can be quite difficult and quite daunting for new players. So in this video I'm going to be bringing you a beginner's guide to help you start the game and give you some nice tips and tricks to get you started. So first of all we're going to be talking about the beginners area or the tutorial area. What you want to do while you are here is take your time and gather all the resources possible. Your fibre, wood and resin resources will become more scarce in the overland. So do take your time travelling around the tutorial area and gathering as many resources as possible. You can also utilise your antenna senses using B on the keyboard. This will highlight where all the resources and bugs and everything else can be found. Now as you come to the end of the tutorial area, you will meet the Elder, which will give you a little bit more background on the story. And he will also give you a task of defeating a boss a bit later on in the game, which is when you will meet him next. But in regards to NPCs, certain NPCs will require you to defeat certain creatures or bosses, and once you have done that, they can then a certain recipe that allows you to tame some of the animals i will be doing a full guide on taming creatures so if you are interested make sure you subscribe so you don't miss when that video is released now as you come to the end of the tutorial section and you make your way to the overworld you'll notice a npc just to the right hand side called Hearn. now you want to stop by him first um, he provides with a couple of armor sets that you can craft from him now i do highly recommend getting the padded armor not the best in protection but they are the best in cold protection which i do really highly recommend getting at the start of the game so cold protection will benefit you in more ways than one in regards to the cold protection the reason why you need this is because seasons and storms are a thing in this game from what i've noticed seasons tend to last 10 days each and if you are unfortunate enough to get or in a storm which can be very unpredictable and you don't have much warning for them if you get caught in a storm without shelter you can get extremely cold extremely quickly and this will deplete your health faster than you do expect so that's why i recommend having the padded armor to start with now once you have successfully spoke to Han and got a got your padded armor which you should have enough resources from the starting area for that it only takes fiber so it's not too bad what you want to do is head to the tree where you can see a big owl statue and once you get to the bottom of this you can interact with the owl which will just give you some tips on food if you climb to the top you will notice that you have some free food resources here now with the berries you don't want to eat them as they will come in handy later on in the game for recipes so in regards to food try and stick to stuff that aren't berries so stuff like the edible mushrooms they can be cooked on a campfire or eaten raw but i do recommend cooking them on a campfire that will give you a bigger benefit now food is a key part of this game and can be identified as the blue bar on the bottom left hand corner if this is kept above 70 then you will slowly regenerate health so it's always a good idea to have plenty of food on you for this benefit now if we open up the map as you will see a lot of the map is hidden but the more you explore the more of the map that is revealed and you may notice that there isn't many npcs on the map as of yet it does give you an indication of what npc to go to next but the more you explore the map the more npcs will be available to you now you may notice as you're traversing through the map that there is a couple of like rivers or streams that flow through i do recommend not trying to swim across them because swimming is not a thing in this game you will have to find an alternate route to cross the river if you do get stuck in the deep water as i said you can't swim and it will not end well for you there are certain points where you can get lucky and you can jump across and sort of hit the shallow end on the other side and make it but i don't recommend doing that it is just easier to find a different path across if you are unlucky and do find yourself going to deep water your gravestone will spawn at the last bit of land that you were touching now talking about gravestones whenever you unalive a gravestone will spawn allowing you to go back and collect all of your items and when you unalive you will respawn at the last repoint spawn you set with a bed or if you haven't done that you will respawn at the starting area now when you respawn the only items that you will keep on you is the one that you have in your hand at that time and the armor you are wearing so it does give you a little bit of protection while you go and find where your stuff is if you are struggling to locate your gravestone if you open up your map your gravestone will be located there and if you just left click on it it will activate that as a waypoint and you can use your compass to find it a little bit easier as you traverse through the overland you will find lots of creatures 
That depends on, on whether you are on peaceful mode or not. They may attack you, or if you are on peaceful mode, they will only attack you if they are attacked. But in killing these creatures, it will provide you with resources that you can't find in the world naturally and pick up. These resources that they drop will provide you with new crafting recipes. So once you have yourself sort of set up and established and you've got all the tools, good idea just to go and investigate the other creatures, kill them and see what resources they drop. Now creatures all have their own weaknesses and this can be identified identified by a little yellow icon by their health bar. Just a few examples of these are like slashing damage, so a sword or an axe. You've got piercing damage, which could either be from a bow or a spear. And you have blunt damage, which comes from a hammer as well. So you do want to have an array of weapons and tools on you at all times, so you can be ready for any situation you may find yourself in. And finally, the biggest tip of them all is once you have gathered a few resources and everything like that, and you've made yourself with the overland what you want to do is you want to head to the great tree which can be identified with mushrooms traveling all the way up around the outside of it there are 10 of these located around the map but the closest one to you is just southeast of the location of the elder now at the bottom of this tree you will find a gnome that when you interact with it will give you a little bit of information about the tree and it will ask you to make your way to the top to claim it so you have to i'll call your way all the way up to the top which can be a bit tricky and can take a little while but it's definitely worth it and once you get to the top you will see another gnome and that will allow you to claim this tree as your base slash safe area and this is a perfect place to build a base there's plenty of um, open space on the top of this tree and obviously the benefit is you are up and away from all the elements so your base won't get attacked by any creatures or anything like that but this is a perfect place to just get a simple base set, set up so you can get your workbench crafted a bed down to set your respawn point campfire to cook some food and get all your tools and everything else crafted so you can go off and explore now you don't have to worry about climbing your way up and down once you've done this you have got access to a lift that can take you up and down the tree easily so there we go everyone you're all set and ready to explore the land with a bit more preparation than you probably would have had just like me when i first started the game and didn't really know because as i said it is quite a difficult and hard game to get grips with now if you liked the video and found it helpful make sure you smash that like button make sure you subscribe as well because i'll have plenty of small land content on its way it's been kryptonite here thank you all for watching and i I will see you in the next video.